final came. Hasn't been too long, but we did have a little mishap at the postal service. They uh, accidentally sent it to the wrong town on accident this morning, so it was supposed to be here this morning. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Thank you, Side Hill Moto. Let's open it up here. Pretty nice packaging. So far. Ooh, they added all this stringy stuff. The hell is this? Chinese noodles? <laughs> Here we are. Let's see how this goes. Ah, very nice. Those are a lot, lot more bulky than the pictures online and everything look like. Uh, that's in my hand there. I mean, that's a good size foot peg. So. I was worried that they were going to be small. A lot of the, um, a lot of the product photos and a lot of the things I've seen about them, they look very small. Um, these seem to be a lot bigger than than I expected. So, pretty nice. Pins look pretty solid. They're not gonna not gonna come out very easy. They're not gonna come out on accident. They got a nice cotter pin in there, lock in it, spring assisted, so they will fold up and out of the way when they hit, just like dirt bike pegs, uh, but they do not fold up and store. Uh, I saw a lot of people asking that. Um, if you wanted it like that, you could just, like you could put a bolt through here and a nut, or just all thread on each side and just tighten it enough that you can move it and then you could fold it up when you don't want it there. Um, seen a lot of things done like that for dirt bikes and stuff for people that didn't like the fact that they folded. Um, but yeah, these look very solid. Very nice, pretty high quality. Oh, hold on, we have bubble wrap. There we go, for the ASMR crew. <laughs> now I got Chinese noodles everywhere. Uh, pretty nice. I like the little engraving they have on the side. Pretty nice. We'll uh, get out there and install these, see how they look on the bike, because I'm uh, looking forward to trying those tomorrow. So let's go. All right, guys, we are in the trailer now. And kick that out of the way. We're in the trailer. We've got the tools we need. 15 millimeter wrench. Gonna loosen them up with the ratchet. Got the pegs. Now, it's gonna go right on this bolt here. Getting this all set up. So, what will you need to do here? Just pulled out my bench so I can have somewhere to sit here. What we need to do here is just loosen this here bolt. It's the lower of the bolts that go directly through the entire frame. So pretty simple. I suppose you could put it on both, but this one is probably stronger. Um, so it will work better. Just so you know, this was my V1, just to get something on there. Uh, it works, not as good, not as sturdy. Uh, now it's just gonna be like a emergency passenger peg. Um, I don't know, I'll probably take them off and put some GoPro mounts here so I can get some different angles, but nothing crazy. Uh, so, here we are. Just gonna get these loosened up. Doesn't have to go all the way, but it does have to go far enough to get that probably a quarter inch. A little bit more. There's a washer <clears throat> underneath this bolt. So, make sure that washer is inside the peg there. Wait, now, you did. You fold the peg here, and you can get, see this is a pretty fat wrench, so if you have a skinnier wrench, it would fit in there without folding the peg, but, 
when you can't fit it in there without folding the peg. Get that in there. And start turning. This will eventually end up binding up in a few different spots. Uh, so at a certain point, you'll have to stop turning it and just kind of work it on there. Just gonna maneuver it into position with a wrench. It's just gonna, gonna flatten my peg out there. Very straightforward of an install. You just loosen one bolt partially and then slide it on and reinstall. Now, the torque spec on this is going to be different than Yeti and all the others. So, this one is a pretty high torque spec because it is going directly through this entire frame. So, that one's retightened there with the old torque wrench and we will get this other side snapped on and I'll show you guys the finished product. You don't need to see it twice, so. Pegs are on. I think I am gonna go ahead and pull off those other pegs just cause they don't really need to be there anymore at this point. I'm gonna use the old wrench to match those angles and I think that's that's pretty close this one might be a little bit high in the back I almost want them leaning a little forward so then I can pressure the backs so let's go ahead and do something about that one That's better. I like that. All right, use, you know, pry bar. Yeah, so those are on. They do snap out of the way if you hit stuff, but they are spring assisted. So yeah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Side Hill Moto, thank you. Looking forward to putting these to the test now that we're finally getting a little bit of snow back in the mountains. Uh, I think we are heading out this weekend, so looking forward to testing them out. Let's, uh, let's put them to work, right? Well, first impressions. I do enjoy that uh, Side Hill Moto setup. It's uh, very simple. Uh, I know a lot of people were complaining about the price. Let's get that out of the way now, right? I think it was something like 370 or something it's not cheap right but we are in a performance world with performance products and when performance comes into the equation so does quality uh, if you don't stick with quality if you don't ensure a quality product that performance you think you're getting from that piece is all down the drain and the $150 you spent on it is down the drain. Um, there's a lot of really high quality pegs out there for 150 bucks that can take a ridiculous beating, even in like titanium. But with that being said, it does have a, a another separate bracket with it that was designed as essentially a one-off. It'll fit a lot of different bolts, but it is designed around a specific build, and when that comes into play, you're gonna be paying a little more for that product. So, with that being said, I mean, I was willing to pay the price for it because I want quality and I want the product. I, I need that performance gain from it, right? 
So you got to weigh your options on whether you're at the point where you think you can handle them, not handle them, but you can utilize them. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment of what you think about them. Do you think the price is too much? Do you think it's worth it? Uh, do you like the color? I don't know. I feel like it would have been kind of nice if they uh, offered some powder-coated color options, but they look good. Nice job, Sido.